And then do you want a JVS visual in Birmingham? You're looking at a Zan Sanyo ZM5000 and uh, if you've got one of these that goes that goes defective and makes clatters um, don't be put off it's the same defective clatters that you get with the Sanyo 200 250 models it is the fan assemblies okay you can see these these are fan assemblies right now what happens with the fan assemblies is of course it's the same scenario it's it's wear wear and tear rotation is where anything that moves is going to wear okay so you have to replace the fans because they go defective or they stick and the system control detects no rotation that's one of the most common problems I've had passport problems and I've also had uh, EEPROM problems on processing um, if you if, my, if you get one of these um, these 5000s that have got LCD panels of course you know my you know my take on uh, projectors with, with panels if you've got a projector that's got LCD panels have them repaired far more reliable than the typical uh, um, DLP projectors that use digital mirror devices uh, you know when they go down you get the typical breakdown pixels the, the white dots uh, that come on screen okay um, to give you some ideas uh, in the past eight months uh, these are some of the chips I've replaced um, most of the DLPs all the DLPs are uh, manufactured by a company called Texas Instruments okay they manufacture chips these are the chips that go down and obviously I, I hardly replace any panels I hardly replace any panels on projectors okay um, these are the chip, defective chips okay so that gives you some idea so if you've got VJ, SVJ project, projectors um, then and you, you, you it's an LCD projector then have them repaired you'll get the reliability out of them um, most of the LCD projectors of today have got fixed panel prism assemblies, they're epoxied, they're set at default at factory. Um, but this 5000, I won't kid you, I kid you not, even if you repair projectors, it is a bit of a job because you've got to take the motherboard out, you're underneath, you've got to take the top off first of all, and un unfix the top, you've got to take off the, uh, the screening, you've got to take off the motherboard, you've got to then take off the secondary screening, you've then got to take out um, all the fixing screws of various various parts to get the to get to certain items you've then got to re remove the optical lens assembly cluster you've got to take that out to get to the um, the fan assemblies there are six fan cluster and these these fans go go defective they stick so if you have problems with your 5000 uh, you know run for so long then all of a sudden you'll just shut down nine times out of ten it's fan related or overheating um, great projector apart from those fans um, you know you, you've got when you've got to be doing things like this you know you've got to know what you're doing when you're having to re remove the optical engine cluster the lamp cover assembly fan, assem fan assemblies uh, f uh, the uh, heater uh, the main exhaust assemblies and the covering for the fan clusters the tops of the fan clusters uh, motherboard and you're taking out the complete motherboard you've got you've got 30 odd connectors to unplug from the motherboard so don't take the job on be very careful what you're doing unless you know what you're doing um, JVS Vision Birmingham has been doing projectors since time began with the very early sharps um, and I do the Sony's the Proxima's the Sanyo's Optoma's um, there's no projector that I haven't seen in all honesty um, and uh, I would say you know if you're a pub or a club or, or a, a lecture theatre 
you know, use your have your Sanyo uh, your Sanyos repaired, your big XF tens, your nine double O fives, the big massive originals where you can take the panels out, the panel prism assemblies, you can clean them all, you can replace individual panels, you know, or an individual filters. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. Um and I don't see them. I very rarely see them in for service and repair because they're so reliable. Um, yes, and you can pick them up for a song. People are paying, still paying stupid amounts of money for projectors when these old ones, these 9005s, XF10s, are fantastic. They really are reliable. Um, and not a problem, I can set them up for you. You know, you've got to have the kit to set the, the focus up and the convergence on the panels and the cross hatch. It's the same scenario as the early tubes. You know, red, green, blue on top of each other gives you white convergence setup. But, you know, they are, they are so reliable. All right. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. That's the PRC uh, ZM5000. And uh, thanks.